If you sell products on Amazon, you probably know it's important to keep your account in good shape. But you might not realize how much Amazon relies on that good standing to run your business smoothly on their site. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, product evangelist at Sellerab and today I will dive deep into how the Amazon account health rating system works, how your rate is calculated and most importantly, how you can improve it. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to Seller App so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Let's get started. The Amazon account health rating shows if your account might be in trouble because you are not following Amazon's rules properly. But it's not always easy to understand and sometimes it doesn't match what's really going on with your account. You can see your AHR at the top of the Seller Central when you log in or go to uh, the Amazon Seller Central and click on the Performance tab. Then click on the Account Health to check uh, your Amazon Account Health rating. Thanks to the AHR, uh, sellers can focus on fixing any problems and making sure they follow the rules again. You'll get a message on your Account Health page if your rating drops to a critical level. Your Amazon account status falls into three main categories. First is active. Everything's normal. You can sell and get paid as usual. Second is under review. Amazon's looking into something so they might limit your sales or hold on to your money until they are done investigating. Next is suspended. You can't sell anything and they are holding on to your funds for now. Your Amazon account health rating tells you how your account is doing overall, so it's important to understand those categories. Amazon uses colors and numbers to rate your account health. If you break the rules, you lose points, but if you fix any problems, you should gain points back. Your rating gets updated in real time, which is quite handy. Uh, so here's how uh, the colors and the numbers work. Healthy is shown by green color. This means your account is in good shape. Here your rating will fall between 200 and 1000 points. Yellow means at risk. This indicates that there are some issues you need to address. Here your rating will be uh, between 100 and 199 points. Unhealthy is shown by red. This is a warning sign. Your account needs attention as it's at risk of suspension or other serious consequences. Your rating will be between 0 and 99 points. Your Amazon account health rating looks at three main things about following the rules. Your aim is to get a zero rating from all the three areas. So here they are. Uh, customer service performance. This is super important. One big part of it is the order defect rate. Your ODR needs to be under 1% over the last 60 days, but hitting 1% is okay too. Uh, ODR looks at things like A to Z claims, negative feedback and chargeback claims. Because Amazon cares a lot about good service, you'll want to keep your ODR as close to zero as possible. And things you should fix like how your products are uh, and if you are following Amazon's rules properly. Next is shipping performance. This checks how well you handle shipping. It's split into three bits. Late shipment rate, that is under 4%. Pre-fulfillment cancellation rate, under 2.5%. Valid tracking rate, over 95%. Now keeping up with uh, shipping can be tricky because a lot of things can affect it. Even stuff you can't control. So making sure things get shipped on time is really important. When you are checking your AHR, think about how you can do uh, better with shipping and managing your products. So if your Amazon account health rating drops, it can lead to some serious problems for your account, which can eat into your time, effort and money. First is account suspension or deactivation. If your AHR falls below Amazon standards, 
uh, they might suspend or deactivate your selling account. This can really hurt your business and it could take a long time to fix the issues and get your account back. So during this time, uh, you could lose out on sales and money. Next is loss of buy box eligibility. The buy box is a prime spot on Amazon uh, where most customers make their purchases. So if you lose eligibility for the buy box, it can seriously hurt your sales and revenue uh, because your products won't be as visible. It's tough to get back into the buy box once you are out. Next is limited access to features. Amazon might restrict your access to certain seller features like advertising or promotions if you, uh, you know, if your AHR isn't good. So this makes it harder to promote your products and respond to customer questions or even issues. It could lead to negative feedback and lower your AHR even more. Next is reduced uh, visibility in the search results. If your AHR is low, uh, your products might show up lower in the search results. This means fewer people will see them when, uh, you know, which can lead to lower sales and revenue. This is especially tough if you are selling in a competitive market. Now that you know about the Amazon account health ratings, let's talk about how to keep them in good shape or make them even better. So what's first thing is watch your metrics. Keep an eye on things like uh, your order defect rate, late shipment rate and order cancellation rate. If you spot any issues, take action to fix them and improve how you're doing. Next is represent your product accurately. Uh, to improve your Amazon account health rating, you should accurately represent uh, your product, which includes providing clear product images, descriptions and other information required. If you want to validate whether you are providing uh, proper information about your product, check out SellerApp's Amazon Listing Quality Index. It helps you measure the quality of your listing page. The tool uh, provides a listing quality score, uh, which is based on two main components, discoverability and desirability. If the score of your listing page is good, then your product is accurately represented. If a customer purchases uh, the product based on inaccurate information, uh, they would be disappointed and leave negative feedback or reviews. Next is respond fast to customers. People like getting quick replies and Amazon likes it too. Answer questions and complaints within 24 hours if you can and make sure uh, you know your responses are polite and helpful. Try to solve any problems customers have as soon as possible. Aim to keep uh, the returns and refunds and chargebacks low by making sure your customers are happy with what they buy. Happy customers mean uh, fewer problems and a better ratings. Next is ship products on time. So sending out products on time is crucial for improving your Amazon account health rating. It means uh, making sure your items are shipped within the time frame promised to the customer. If you are late with shipments, Amazon might give you a penalty which could lower your ratings. To make sure uh, you ship on time, you need a reliable shipping process and a good system for managing your inventory. Sell quality products. Now selling top-notch uh, products can give your Amazon account health rating a big boost. Uh, customers expect the things uh, they buy to be uh, you know, of high quality and if they are not, they won't be happy. So it's really important to make sure your products are of top quality before you list them on Amazon. Also, learn about Amazon's policies, very important. Amazon has lots of rules in place to protect customers and make sure they have a safe uh, shopping experience. So these rules cover all sorts of things like how payments are handled and how product reviews work. So um, it's a good idea to know these rules and follow them carefully when you're running your Amazon account. So in all, it's important to keep an eye on your Amazon account health rating, but don't get too obsessed with it. Uh, just because your account looks good now doesn't mean, um, you know, it can't change fast. It's better to prevent problems than to fix them later. Uh, to keep your Amazon account healthy, uh, stick to seller code of conduct. 
uh, sell great products that are safe and of high quality. Make sure your product listings have accurate information and provide top-notch customer service to meet your customers' needs. Your selling account, uh, you know, on Amazon is super important for making sales. So don't forget how valuable it is. If you need help getting started on optimizing your Amazon listings, don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at sellerapp.com. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. So if you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Seller App. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on, you know, any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, happy selling.